After nearly a decade in development, the Minecraft movie trailer finally dropped. And it's already a disaster. Was this expected? Yes. Is it still disappointing? Also yes. If you've seen the trailer, it's easy to understand why people are upset. The real humans, the uncanny mobs, the painfully MCU-esque dialogue. It all just feels wrong in a way that's hard to pin down. On the other hand, some people are fine with it, arguing that anyone disappointed had unrealistic expectations and should have expected this level of mediocrity from a video game adaptation anyways. But I just don't get how the bar got so low that we're now okay with Aether portals and official adaptations. I get that Minecraft is a tough game to adapt into film since it's more of an open-ended experience rather than a set story. However, I'm getting sick of people acting like this was the only way to adapt it into live action. The missteps here go beyond just visual blemishes to fix, like in the Sonic movie. They're fundamental flaws that reveal a deep misunderstanding of the source material. Which begs the question, does Hollywood even understand Minecraft? My name is Indie Generate, welcome to a needlessly complicated dissection of a teaser trailer. To fully understand how long the making of this moment took to create and how devastating it truly is now that it's here, let's do a brief history lesson on the development of the Minecraft movie. <clears throat> In early 2014, Minecraft creator Notch announced on Twitter that a potential Minecraft movie was in the works with Warner Brothers Entertainment. The studio had acquired the rights and made it clear that their intent was to make it a live action film. And with producers like Roy Lee of Lego Movie fame and Sean Levy eventually set to direct, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Three different directors left, countless scripts were burned, one of the producers fucking died, and the movie went from a possible 2018 release to a possible 2019 release to fucking 2025. What a weird use of 10 years. Now, I'm not here to dog on the art of filmmaking. I know Rome wasn't built in a day, and that these things take time. But watching this film get tossed around from director to director like fucking hot potato only cast more doubt on whether or not Minecraft should even be a movie in the first place. Wasn't all bad, though. Every now and again, we would get leaks and rumors announcing actors like Steve Carell and Jason Momoa to star in non-specific roles. Even though Carell was later announced to no longer be involved with the project, speculation on who Momoa would play varied wildly. There was a leak in 2022 stating that he would be playing the warrior Gabriel for Minecraft story mode, but it was shot down relatively quickly as nobody else corroborated this. And everybody knows how Mojang treated that game. To make matters worse, Warner Brothers remained determined to make Minecraft a live action film, despite the game being about as far from live action material as you can get. This concern was also shared by popular YouTuber Captain Sparkles in a recent video, where he recounted a conversation he had with ex-director Rob McElhaney. And according to Sparkles, both of them left the conversation more confused than when they started. And so at that time, we had lunch, and he was asking, like, how would you see a Minecraft live action movie looking? And I was like, that's gonna be really hard to make look proper. And even then, are you going to make it so that the mobs are gonna look super realistic? Like, actually, realistic in the sense of representing Minecraft. But they can't do that either, because then it's just gonna look really weird when paired up against a, a person next to them. So how are you going to adjust it so that it, it fits? And that was an unanswered question. Like, I couldn't tell him. And looking at what we got in the end, and it seems that these concerns never got any satisfying resolution. Though, to backtrack a bit, a script was finally complete by September 2023, and production was rumored to start soon after. Leak after leak began to slowly crawl out as months went by, and people started to piece together that filming was taking place in New Zealand. Hi. <laughs> it seemed that for the first time in a decade, the Minecraft movie looked like it was actually happening. Which brings us to present day, September 2024, and uh... Well, here we have it. Let's get into the visuals, shall we? Many people have gone on to lightly poke fun at the teaser's visual style and how off-putting the mobs look, but I've yet to see anyone fully explain why they're bad in a way that isn't just lol, it looks ugly. So, here's my attempt at doing so. I have a two-year-old video on my channel discussing the depths of unintentional horror in video games, and in it, I talk about the uncanny valley. Stuff that looks human, but not quite. I think you can guess where I'm going with this. The choice to make every Minecraft mob look like it's right out of a hyper-realistic texture pack kinda just makes these things look scary. And not even scary in a this is a badly designed model kind of way, but rather a I don't know what the hell I'm looking at kind of way. The charm of Minecraft's mobs all come from the overtly simplistic styling of the game. The sheep looks cute and kinda fucking stupid at the same time because of the game's visual limitations. With how it is currently, it's up to personal interpretation to decide how these mobs look in your brain. That's why when some people look at Steve, they see a beard, whereas other people People might see a smile. So seeing these designs be butchered and chopped up to inverted eyes and a 
realistic mouths for some reason really breaks my heart. Especially because I know I'm gonna have to see plushies of these wretched things at Walmart for the next year and a half. And the problem with the visuals doesn't end with the mobs. Almost everything about this movie and how it looks feels uninspired and kind of bland. And not just because it's realistic, but rather that it feels exactly how I expected it to look. The idea of Minecraft in real life has become such an extremely played out concept over the years that it's pretty much a joke now. Minecraft is supposed to be an oversimplified version of real life with a few fantasy elements added in, such as the nether and unique mobs, but instead of honing in on these things, the trailer focuses on stuff that we already do in real life. I guess it's supposed to be interesting that all the materials are cute and tiny and that crafting tables can craft things? Warner Bros know that we can craft things in real life, right? Right? Also, small nitpick, why the fuck is a double chain bucket the first thing we see anybody craft? Am I missing something? Has my brain retconned this item from my Minecraft knowledge? At least make a sword or some shit, how am I supposed to get excited over a damn bucket? And to nobody else's surprise, the backgrounds and environments are just straight up atrocious. Yes, I'll admit they look good on a technical level, but ask yourself this question, does this really represent Minecraft? If you glanced at it for a second, you'd probably have no issue with it, but upon further inspection, I just keep finding new issues issues to be upset about. Like, bro, what the fuck is the scaling? Why does Jason Momoa look like he's taller than the goddamn tree next to him? Also, why the hell does this movie use Mixels? Why was that ever even considered an option? For those who are unfamiliar with Mixels and have no clue what I'm yapping about, Mixels are elements of mixed resolution, whether that be 2D or 3D. To put it simply, Mixels happen when pixel sizes and orientations are used inconsistently. Games like Undertale and FNAF utilize Mixels for their unique art styles. However, Minecraft's art style doesn't allow for mixels or inconsistently shaped pixels. Everything fits on a grid-based system, and nothing overlaps with anything. So tell me, Mojang, whose idea was it to make half of everything here feel inconsistently sized? I mean, really, how hard was it to just make the trees actually look like the ones from in-game? And why do half the mountains just look like duplo blocks instead of naturally generated structures? In essence, the visuals aren't just ugly, they completely miss the spirit of Minecraft's simplistic and charming aesthetic. And with all this being said, I haven't even touched on the writing. Yes, I'm aware, there's not much story to pull from an 80 second long teaser trailer, but god damn it, it's my video essay and I get to jump to whatever conclusions I want. So let's start off with the basic premise of it all. Four nobodies who are struggling in real life get magically transported through a blue portal that takes them into Minecraft, I guess. Yes. And to get back home, our lovely cast of misfits have to master this new world and reconnect with their own qualities that make them unique and creative. I don't necessarily have a problem with this as a concept, in fact it kinda reminds me of Will Ferrell's role in the Lego movie, where he chooses to bond with his son over being stubborn and closed off. But with the Minecraft movie, it feels less like a celebration of the source material and the bonds that it can bring, and rather more of a spectacle than anything else. To put it simply, this movie's ashamed of itself. From the self-deprecating dialogue to the less than stellar depictions of in-game shenanigans, it seems like this movie doesn't have any respect for its source material, and not even in a way that it's not a faithful adaptation, which it isn't, but rather that I don't think the people making this movie like Minecraft, or even get why people like it. Take for example Steve, I'm sure you've seen the dozens and dozens of memes surrounding Jack Black's realism lately, and while he isn't as intolerable as he was in Borderlands, Jack Black still doesn't feel right for the role. In fact, I can't think of a single actor that would feel right for Steve, because Steve, ultimately, is more of an idea than he is a character. He's supposed to not only have no personality, but also be able to represent everyone who has ever played Minecraft, because that's what silent protagonists do. It's like if a teaser trailer for a Zelda movie had Lick say something that wasn't a yelp or a grunt, and also was Jack Black. Also, to a lesser extent, it does feel a little insulting to have Jack Black here. Like you didn't have enough faith in this movie as a concept that you just had to throw Jack Black in a blue t-shirt and call him Steve? I bet all the suits who made this casting decision decided that if nothing else, maybe Jablinski games can save this dog-ass movie. As somebody who loves film, and more importantly, loves Minecraft, I don't know how to feel about this movie. A part of me feels like there could have been a better way to do this, but another part of me knows that I can't think of anything better. While we can look to the likes of the Lego movie and 2023's Barbie, there's no replacing what we're eventually going to get. It might not be the film we want, but it's probably the film we deserve for being such cynical, demanding fucks. So to answer this video's question, no. I do not think Hollywood understands Minecraft, nor will it probably ever. And while this movie is most likely going to be the visual equivalent of scratching nails on a chalkboard, my silly ass is probably still gonna get a kick out of it seeing stupid shit like this on the big screen. Who am I kidding? This shit is gonna be dog butt. Subscribe if you want these things in the movie. I, I, I don't know.